Hello everybody, welcome to the BBSL semi-final. Um, it is the winner of Group A, won every game, Crucifer. Um, he's got four guards, a mighty blow tackler, a frenzy and a block catcher and a block ogre. Uh, versus my humans, which is five guard, um, a block thrower, block uh, catcher, a mighty blow tackler. So we're pretty we're pretty similar, but his, his ogre does have blocks, so his ogre's a bit better, but then my catcher's a bit better with the guard. And then Frenzy on a thrower. Uh, he's got Frenzy on a blitzer and I've got Block on a thrower. So very similar teams. I was runner-up to Calcium in Group B. Um, Fymir is in the booth. I'm going to do all the commentary so that I can concentrate on just play playing. Thank you very much, Fymir. Uh, let's go. Everybody. Let's go mid slaps. Oh, please, at least I hope you have chosen both of you different kits for the teams. So here you go, BBSL semi final, Crucifer versus Jimmy. Yeah, the teams are different. And here we are. BBSL, for those that don't know, follows uh, more uh, nearly exactly the blitz pitch format, one minute turns. Jimmy, I hope you have taken the animations off. Because if not, the animations take time from the turns. And the magic of a uh, glorious. No, CNI. I won't give in until yeah. I'm victorious. And I will defend. I will defend. So, one minute uh, turns. The teams are always the same TV. There's a resurrection format. So, if you lose players or something like that, you get them back for the next game. Both teams are very similar. The only big difference. Is that uh, Jimmy has a mighty blow tackle and uh, Crucifer has a guard uh, frenzy and a mighty blow tackle. But other than that, yeah, very similar. Uh, Jimmy has a catcher with guard to help with the mobility. And the uh, Crucifer Ogre has block. And that's it. Zero turns with 11 players. Standard. Jimmy Standard playing his classic game here. It's a famous tactic. Thanks for the subscribe, Leading Hippie. 37 months on your path to 40 uh, Bieber pregnancies. All right, Blitz did nothing. So, not a particularly horrible first time for Jim. And the one he died picking up the ball. Oh. I can see a way towards the ball here. I don't know. Could be. Get the pow.
Frenado Jimmy. Flooding de... De Ball. Maybe Crucifer could have uh, closed that the door a little better. But the 189. Oh, spicy. Those DC part. Felix DC one. Cast the ball. Not bad. Okay, all plan, all part of the plan. In 81 for a uh, crucifer there. It's not crucifer's day, that's clear. Oh, big, big KO there. That gives him uh, Jimmy an extra hit, more basing, another player down. Wow. Uh, yeah, okay, this is this drive is more or less uh, gone for a uh, crucifer. Two KOs versus one KO, absolutely beautiful. Also, Jimmy lost one uh, Lino and all oh, the other work. And Christopher lost two of his blitzers. This has been a complete banking here. Crucifer has a dodge to get the one die on the ball. But uh, even if he gets the ball down, there is no match he could do anyway. So, yeah. He's trying to cause some damage. Jesus. Oh, nearly another one in one in nine. Dutch works. Able to base the ball, which everybody knows is GG. But now Jimmy can uh, free a lot of players. Also, the one basing the ball is a catcher, so not a real danger there. Is it a catcher or is it a lineman? A line, a line.
Or he race activating the ogre. Yeah, now the ball is much, much safer. Okay. 1 in 9, but at least broke armor. So now Crucifer can try to get a screen or something similar is the bow Now here we are. Where's gonna be the blitz? Probably one of the front uh, players of the cage. seconds oh here comes the ogre gets the pow gfi so now jimmy has certain level of pressure but he still can get a lot of uh, free blocks here That one day at the Ogre, I imagine, would be the last uh, thing at the turn. Even if he takes it, I'm not sure about that. Pow. Dodge is the tackler making it something similar to screen. Oh, that's a roll there. No, maybe not. Now, Crucifer has an opening to base the, the ball. Or put a lot of pressure in the ball. Oh my god! That's very unfortunate, as uh, Gucifer will say. Absolutely shy dice. Bring another player there. She's going for the 
Studio and the Ogre, or uh, maybe I just did with the Ogre I hit one of the other players. Oh no, Ogre into Ogre action. Five seconds, dodge pops up there, but... Oh, he's doing all the dodges now. Turn five. Sure this thing is going fast. The good thing this is exclusive for drive, so even if uh, Jimmy for some uh, reason can score, still has the advantage because he's receiving next one. Armor break, always welcome. Oh, nice powder. It's probably Jimmy thinking yeah, if there is any kind of chain play there. Every single time there are three players together. And now, yeah, he's aiming to score. This is an instant roll. It's doesn't one in nine. This is incredible and it scores. Giving a Crucifer three times to score. And it's going to be uh, 11 versus 11. Both of them have uh, one bench. Oh, Jimmy going for the chevrons here. And this looks uh, all right. Crucifer is going guard on, bad but not terrible. But still, is one nail down. So mid lap, this is looking good for Jimmy. Let's see how it can be ruined. It's going to be one of these uh, classic Crucifer LOS with three injuries. Here we go. Okay, Crucifer gets a reroll. <laughs> Bonehead. What a fantastic opening of the turn. The ball is in a very good position if Crucifer manages to pick up the ball. That was around the uh, Leech, sorry, a block with a frenzy guy. And that was uh, two dice into two red dice. Hey. 
Now, the moment of tragedy here, the pickup. Yeah, I need to get those uh, scoring threats as many as possible. And this is the problem with going uh, so central in this kind of situation is now that Jimmy can completely envelop the scoring threats. Uh, here comes the, yes, gets the ball, but fails the GFI. Last roll, works. Very straightforward, taking care of the most dangerous uh, and assorted. The other option he had was uh, probably blitz one of the players next to the ball and put a lot of pressure on the ball, meanwhile the other half of the team tries to block, uh, block the scoring threats. But I think this is the probably better because now he can put a lot of bodies. Now is the kind of situation you need to be also a little careful where you put your players because you don't want to give your opponent any chain play and get one of the players, you know, one square, one square closer to the to the touchdown line. Crucifer still has uh, two turns. But then even he tries to go to the empty side, to the left side, which is mostly empty. Jimmy has really, really easy to move a lot of players there. But still, he can more or less protect the ball and then just need some, you know, a couple of lucky rolls to score. That's the thing with the blue ball. Hand off, that works. Sure about that push there. I mean, are we making that block? Hey. Now, uh, Jimmy with the catcher that's at the backfield, if he wants, can mark the ball. I think he's gonna have because now you remember why I told you about chain uh, plays and all that. Yeah, this is the problem. Looks like Jimmy is trying to do a one turner here. Oh, okay, that's all right.
das a 4 plus por de as a tasty eh, blitz is five versus one absolutely worth it has a roll fail the dodge is all right 50 percent another 50 percent fails it oh well and so i think crucifer is gonna be able to score ah very unfortunate even if he moved down the the catcher the guard frenzy will have surfaced him so still the guard is out that's a uh, good news and uh, jimmy's line is also out but jimmy gets uh, two shots at the los and also jimmy can try the water but without rerolls looks grim and nothing lost to try Uh, Crucifer as the frenzy player is obviously also to help him with the one turns. And if we go, what's gonna be? Kick off event. Oh, fantastic. Oh, well. <laughs> oh, well. The one turns get a little more complicated. That to cover the spot there. Probably trying to do the pass now. Without the rerolls, 20 seconds left. This is absolutely brutal. Okay, the spot is covered. That one is covered too. It needs to cover that one too. Oof. There you go. Another one done. Okay, it works. This is going to run out of time. Oh, don't tell me that. It's working, it's working, it's alive. Quick, three seconds. Catch ball, click player, click and zone. Oh, oh, it was so close, it was so close. This is from there, was a four plus, three plus, and a touchdown. So close. And now... Time for me to grab another can in these 30 seconds.
All right. Crucifer KO, still KO. Not looking good. And uh, Jimmy has to one main mission, score obviously in turn 16 if possible, and the second one, get out of the pitch that the frenzy uh, guard player if possible, and as many catchers as possible. But the frenzy one is the one that makes the... Nice, getting the ball, easy. Playing for a spot in the final here. Armor break. With two teams so absolutely similar, is uh, a lot of it, and because it's level, a lot of it is depending, you know, on the armor breaks, pause. Because for uh, nearly for every play, one of them thinks the other one is going to have a counter play. Chat is being very quiet, guys. Nobody says anything. Is everybody watching Rick and Chunter? <laughs> All right, the standard first turn. There you go now. Now it's a uh, blue. Oh, dead. Do you up that? Nice of yeah. Even if you save the player, you have lost him for the drive. And it's a uh, 50%. So I think we're going to see power up in chaos. Yeah, yeah, this is the, 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 the secondary game for uh, Jimmy nowadays, you know, Blood Bowl, an uh, old thing that he used to play a long time ago. And this is it now. Tactical... Uh... Blitzes. Oh, there you go. Injury in a catcher. Takes the risk. That was like, I mean, it's a catch. You want him for the one turn. Just in case, but oof. Oof. Good, the ogre working on working then covering the weakest spot, and this is a big one. Gets the power, he's a cast, he's massive. He's not. Oh, nice dodge. And this is uh, gonna be the both of them have enough guard to be able to create a lot of hits every turn. So this is a classic bash in the face until something gives. Using the uh, mighty blow tackle every turn. And if the ogres can hit the staff, which does the advantage of uh, Crucifer because he can just use his ogre to base staff. I get an extra mighty blow hit. 
Meanwhile, Jimmy prefers to have the ogre protecting. Good. Now we know what's going to do the player next turn, getting up and getting punched in the face again. Both with a uh, one man down. Lucifer slowly aiming for boxing in uh, Jimmy's. And Lucifer has had, I have to say, it looks really nice. Great job there. There are not many hits that uh, Jimmy can get here without risking players or uh, creating uh, bad spots for his own players. Oh, nice. Oh, nice chain to get extra hit with the ogre. Sacrificial lamp for the Crucifer's ogre. Also, Jimmy protecting the mighty blow tackle. <laughs> Just in case something uh, fails here. Ah. Turn 11. Damage is coming for both of them, but not enough. But still, there is a lot of turns. There you go, Iver. Iver hits another block. Oh, Iver is injured. That's the problem. 15 seconds to think about this. I wouldn't up him. But up with him is also... A good option. That's three out of 12, so that's a maximum 10. If there is overtime or a roller spender, good. That's what Jimmy wants. Crucifer at least uh, burning some rerolls. This is the style of play that the uh, Crucifer excels at. The slow green, boxing, turn by turn. You know, even you think you have the, the same amount of players of, of guard or skills than him, and suddenly you are like trying to breathe. Could be a uh, power up. Yeah, he already moved the mouse there. <laughs> to the icon even before it started. There. Yes, I think that's a good up. Because to be able, you know, to reach overtime, you need to score. Now this will be a glorious turn for the Ogre to get a cast. Oof. 
Ooh, wow. Okay. I mean, he has to reroll that, obviously. That was a very risky uh, block, but the reward could have been immense. Luckily, the fifty percent. Yeah, that's the problem when you are, you know, in offense and you're uh, keeping the cage and all that. You need to invest players in protect the cage. Meanwhile, the other uh, player has all the team to play with and just attack slowly and surely. And now we'll see where he tries to blitz. He has the, the guard the players, but they have block. So maybe going for, you know, a skillless uh, line or trying to get the cast. Oh, save it by the bonehead. Oh, that's big. That's even bigger. And obviously now every roll is a matter of gold because they, they want to reach overtime. Well, they're 1-1. One, one. They're already in overtime. Sorry, Jesus Christ, what the fuck am I talking about? Okay. Sorry, I'm really tired today. Anyway. The medicina now probably he will try to dodge with the player tagging the Ograges. No. Run out of time or just pass down. It's a nice pow. a couple of idiots push ah not going well not going well Jimmy's now in a pickle now. Dodge works. He needs this uh, for these blocks to work. Harder for Jimmy. He had that the uh, the ogre have worked, he had a very good opening on the left side. I think uh, Crucifer is going to invest a lot of players trying to put even more pressure in the ball. Ooh. 
tight as the clenching ass. It's all right, it's all right. And 14 for Jimmy. He needs to start the moving the ball up to try to score or at least make things more difficult for a uh, crucifer if he managed to grab the ball. Nice, he has a big opening here now. There you go. Run for your life, little one. the dodges here. Jimmy has gone to Chanter's school of dodge. Ah, there you go. Very good turn uh, for Jim. Very, very good turn. Now, uh, even Crucifer can put, keep putting pressure on the ball. The ball is really high. Okay, going for the weak link in the case, which is the strength to play. Gets the pow. Oh, massive injury there. But it's a 51. So, yeah, even he had the apple, still had the Jimmy, still had the apple. That was a 40, a 50%. So that's it, you know, mighty blow works. This thing happened. Well, didn't need even mighty blow. Okay, done, bad, but not a disaster. And now Jimmy is really, really pressed there. Oof, this armor break is also big. It's when another guard is appearing. Turn 15. Not many options here. Ah, unfortunately, the powder would have been massive. Would have given Jimmy the option if he wanted to try to stall more. Now stalling is complicated, to see the least. You can be my wingman anytime. Bullshit. You can be mine. Going for the dodge there. Works. My god, the dodge. Jesus Christ. Oh, hello, Papa Chess and the Raid of 26. You are watching the semi final of the BBSL. And uh, yeah, Jimmy is basically losing players but doing every single dodge in the universe. Those were risky dodges there, you know. I would be tempted to just score and he's giving two turns to Crucifer, but the failing state was nightmare. But. 
Jimmy trusted on the dice. Sometimes you have to do that. I mean, yeah, Jimmy have a rough, rough time there. He needs to win now because over time, even he gets the ball, it's going to be very difficult using that many players. All right. And he fails, and I think that's it. Oh, beautiful, beautiful KO. Crucifer wasn't uh, scared of having to do the big play. And now Jim is trying to... Reduce the number of players of Crucifer getting a lucky cast or something like that to make the one turn uh, harder. Making the happy dance before scoring, not scoring in the center. And that's it. 2 1 for uh, Jimmy and uh, fucking let's go. One of the chaos of Crucifer comes back. And this is going to be, yeah, Jimmy can only, you know, put players on the back and do a proper uh, one turn defense because he doesn't have players. Crucifer has one reroll. But he has the frenzy player to make things easy. So I want to see, let's see what happens here. Jimmy dropping the GG. Well played. <laughs> At the end, Tank 16, like a proper gentleman, you know, with honor there. Okay, no, no filthy tricks there. <laughs> Whew, that was stressful. That I mean, was he might, he might score, match. and if he scores, he's won, right? But it's GG one way or the other. Yes. <laughs> yes, I mean... If it goes to overtime, I'm fucked. I mean, he got all the casts that he needed, but you got all the dodges that you wanted. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Whoa. And the first half of the dice were crazy the, the other way, weren't they? So I can't even complain about the uh, about all the removals, because, yeah, I mean, not even without the dodges, the... First half was very one-sided in my favour. He played great, didn't he? Get that three turns, so I wasn't really wasn't confident of stopping Cruz scoring in two. So, <laughs> oh, very sunny, making things a little what more a nice difficult kick. for the one turn. Beautiful kick, and Cruz is not wasting time. He's going to do the pass and all that now. Yeah, I wondered if it was best for me to do the pass first on my attempt. Oh God, he's rolled a six. Oh my god, he's got there the you ball! Go. There you go, fuck it, hell, you know. <laughs> oh my god, he's there got the go. ball! Game on, game on here! Oh. Hey! hey. <laughs> and that's it, I think. <laughs> yeah. Yes, that's it. <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> oof, <laughs> oof, lucky dog there, lucky dog. Just rocketed the ball to him, holy shit. <laughs> Only seven armor breaks for each. And it's been like a massive amount of cars. Wow, yeah, that's crazy, isn't it? That is pretty crazy. He sustained, he got four remove. he took four removals and I took four removals. <laughs> but three of mine were, were cars. Um, and that's it, Jimmy. The <laughs> final. Another final for Jimmy. Yeah. Versus... Uh, Andy Devo and his neck roll. Andy Devo, a classic. Yeah, glorious. <laughs> Boy, howdy. Well. Wow. Oh, howdy, what a game. What a, I mean, if Crucifer had a little more luck in the first half, things would have been much, much harder. I mean, he, he misses the 2 1 in nice and then double skull. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, so my, my judges overall weren't even that good, right? It was just all the critical ones all worked. Um, yeah, no, uh, you just feel it, the, the ones with players that had dodge. Yeah. Like, if the player had dodge, <laughs> he popped dodge. 
Yeah, like like his he he only had to make thirteen, whereas I had to make twenty three. So like you know, and I was under the cosh like. It's not all bad play that I'd make more dodges, right? Because like I did suffer the more removals. I actually outblocked him. I actually made more blocks than him. Um, and just took those removals. Um, but I thought please, I thought Cruz played great and it made it very tough despite his Obviously he could have played it? better he could have played better protecting the ball, right? Um like at the end of the day, he did expose the ball, didn't he? Like to that one in nine yeah. failure and uh, that Yeah, that, 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 at the beginning the first time, yes, when he, he should have Close the door a little more, you yeah. know, before trying to pick up the ball. Yeah, but apart from that, I think he played pretty great, and uh, and yeah, he's he's a great player overall. Isn't he he played great. He, he made played. your life a fucking hell in the second half. <laughs> he did, yeah, yeah. In the, even in the first half, you know, I, I wanted to stall yeah, it out, right? I, I'd ca I'd KO'd two guard blitzers. I really fucking wanted to stall out till turn eight. <laughs> I really fucking wanted to, because <laughs> I knew it like. Humans, obviously Cruz as well, but like humans can score in two turns, never mind three quite easily. So I really yeah. didn't leave him the counter score on it. I really wanted to start out to late and I just couldn't. So yeah, he, he played great both halves. Just one one mistake on that one turn. And, and you know, thinking about it, I thought maybe I shouldn't have even dodged right after the pickup because I had guard on either side of my catcher. Maybe I should have just stayed there. You know, like I don't even Who know knows? how much better the one in nine was. You know, like if I'd stayed there. Then uh, I might have yeah. been, as soon as I failed it, I was like, fuck, maybe I should have just not made it. But, um, oh, uh, now it's all in the books. Yeah, yeah, who cares? In the second BBSL, second final, glorious. <laughs> the man that creates the league reaches the final again. <laughs> glorious. It's not maybe a fix. Maybe that one if you play It's not a fix. <laughs> um, well, thank you very much, Fami, for doing the commentary. Absolutely brilliant, as always. Thank you very much. Thanks. Well, I was uh, for uh, while I've been shy, I forgot that you were one one at some point. That's <laughs> okay. It doesn't matter. I'm sure everybody did. <laughs> Thanks for watching, yeah. everyone. Don't forget to leave a like and subscribe, and stay fantastic. <laughs>